So the real question is, how you living? Not what's in your wallet. Not where you going. What you doing right now. But how are you living? Are you living essentially, necessarily, by the seat of your pants, or with purpose? Or maximizing every breath that you take. And if I'm cutthroat honest, I have to tell you that I have to reevaluate my own self, if not daily, frequently. To say to myself, at least I know I've upped my living game, particularly in the last few years, and particularly in the last year and a half, particularly as I've gotten to know myself and realize that, hey, I'm a pretty good guy. At least I try to be. So why not live as such? The problem is even as we achieve, grow, expand, acclimate to the next tier, the level, place of development, at some point it becomes standard. See, I always tell my daughters, what I do is not just about me, it's not just for me. What I do, especially if it's extraordinary, is to become their ordinary. It's like as as guys, and guys with daughters especially, we have a tendency to spoil our daughters. Yeah, we justify it as giving them a level of standard or giving getting them used to certain things so that they won't accept anything below that. But yeah, we have a level we have a habit intentionally of I'm gonna say placing our daughters in a mode of normality that we want them to maintain not accept lower than throughout their life with friends, family, loved ones. We want them to develop a higher standard than what we have had. So when I do anything that ordinary or extraordinary I say it needs to become their ordinary. They're to pick up where I left off at. And so again, what happens when we achieve the extraordinary, we achieve that next level, not necessarily complacency sets in, but it becomes our norm. It becomes, I, I did it, I got it, I'm good. And even though we say we're keeping it moving, if we don't take a moment or two or five to evaluate what we are doing to continue to maximize our existence, our self, then we level off. Now, good, bad, and different, it can work either of those ways. Mm-hmm. If we're in pain, at some point we acclimate to the pain. And while it might be an extraordinary pain, it just becomes our norm. If we're happy, content with the goings-on in our life, our situation, also at some point, we it becomes our norm. And that might be extraordinary for other people. There might be some people that are just outright miserable and they look at your situation and they go, wow, they got it. 
They did it. They got everything. They checked all the boxes. And we're going, hmm, yeah. That's what I do. That's how I am. And that's good in a sense because we don't ever want to be seen, perceived, or transmit that we're that cocky or conceited or just arrogant personality or that that is where our self resides. So in that essence, it's good. But at the same time, we need to keep ourselves on our P's and Q's, so to speak. Being good at whatever you do. Even still, you plateau. Now we plateau because we don't push harder. Or we don't seek further. And everything's not necessarily a physical thing. It's not even a mental or emotional thing in particular. It is an everything. Just our total self, our total situation. And sometimes we just have to remind ourselves. And actually, it should be daily. I reflect over encounters, interactions that I've had throughout the day, over the past week, in the last 24 hours. And I question myself as to what if I said or done or even looked different or not. How would that have affected what I did? Could I have maximized that moment in my life? The reality of it is I won't get that particular moment back to find out. But I will have future occurrences of, if not the same type of situation or interactions, similar, very similar, identical, different circumstances, places, people, times. So I always want to be my best self, even when I am caught beside myself. So I ask the question again, are you living essentially, necessarily, or optimally? See, when we live essentially, we live just by necessity. You have to breathe. You have to open your eyes. You have to go to work. You have to do certain things to exist i.e. breathe okay. so that's essential you cannot live without certain things and a lot of us go through our daily tasks our daily motions our daily grind our lives along those same patterns essentially and then there's the necessity I'm doing a little bit more than just being here. I'm operating with the bare necessities. I've got a car, it might be a hoopty. I've got clothes, they might be, I don't know, clothes are, are personally relevant. So uh, it's not about the brand. It's not about the style. Actually, it is about the style because they're personally relevant. But it's about, you know, I've got a shirt, some jeans. It's how I flow. I've got a car. It's got four wheels on it. No AC, no radio. It gets me there. It's got a house. It's got windows and a door. Nothing lavish or anything about it. And lavish doesn't make it good. I'm just saying we're operating out of necessity. This is how we see things. Now, then there's optimally. And optimally may not be the best of everything, or at least not by everybody's standard. But it is the best of things for you. 
whether they be physical things, spiritual things, emotional things, whatever they may be, the best of things for you in your life, in what it is you need and want to do. So take a long, hard look and ask yourself the question, how am I living? We're not here to just exist. We're not here to just get by. Believe it or not, everyone has a purpose. And your purpose is not necessarily tied to just you. So don't live essentially. Don't live necessarily. Live optimally. Or at least try to. And you know what? If you try to live optimally, you will. Say it out loud. I am going to live optimally. I'm going to be the best me for me. And mine and those that are connected to me. I am going to leave a positive impact, memory, presence, token of something in those people's lives whose paths I have the opportunity and blessing to cross while on mine. It is a choice. Just like whether or not we're going to allow negativity into our lives. Living or how we live is a choice. How you live. Thoughts from the basement.